Okay, Sam. Switching sports here to boxing. Here we go, Sam. Look at this action. Yeah, coming out fast right away, both fighters. No need to wait tonight. My goodness, these guys are fighting like somebody stole something. <laughs> That's the interesting thing. You get to see a different pace in each sport. And in boxing, you're able to bring that pace and stay on that inside a little more than you are with MMA when there's not the knees or takedowns available. Definitely. What we're seeing right now, with the red gloves, we're seeing Antonio Gonzalez. And in the blue gloves, we're seeing Lucas Babuena. I like how Antonio's going to the body early. He's got a little bit of a reach disadvantage for him, but he's going to that body, and that always pays out as the fight goes on. People underestimate how much the body attack takes out of him. Oh, could not agree more. And really one of the most useful tools and tactics in the sport of boxing. As a matter of fact, one of the things that I actually am seeing on Balbuena right now is I love the way that he keeps his chin tucked down. Good head movement, but he just ate a big left hook right there from another, Gonzalez. Another great thing about them body shots is they oftentimes set up the head shots. Yes, always, always. Or can finish you with the body shot. Absolutely. And it, I gotta tell you, it looks like the power of Gonzalez is kind of shining through because I'm seeing the, the face of Balbuena really change when Gonzalez lands. Good head movement though being shown from Balbuena, like you said, off that center line earlier. We're seeing that, we're seeing him basically duck and roll beautifully, but Gonzalo's putting good pressure and that left hand is really landing. Yeah, both fighters doing a good job making sure that they're getting their punches in. Yeah. Great first round of action, my goodness. 168 pounds. Gotcha. Crazy how fast three minutes can go when the action's just non-stop. Fast and furious, right? Felt like a minute to me. Yeah, I, I, I agree with that. 100% agree with that. You see that they got, they started there about halfway through there, get an idea of what each fighter was looking for. You gotta see kind of their natural abilities shine through. You've seen that um, uh, Lucas was able to start using his reach. He was able to sit back and make sure, hey, I can get this guy as soon as he hits me, I'll hit him before he gets all the way out. He did a great job with it. When we see Antonio have to use his speed and aggression to get inside of that range. So you see their body types kind of determine how they're gonna fight their fight. Yeah, and you're seeing right now from the corner of Lucas Balbuena, you're seeing Brian Zeeler give that combination instruction. Don't look for one shot. Look for that left hand to set up that right. And, and now it's gonna be up to Lucas to, to show that off, and you're seeing that left hand coming through, but let's see if he can follow up with that right. Absolutely, and, and making adjustments in between rounds is a skill that doesn't get enough credit. Agreed, 100% agreed. Big shot right there lands from Balbuena. Nice. Good action in tight. Yeah, high volume for both guys. High volume, center of the ring, not going anywhere. And that left hand is a real problem right there for Balbuena. Gonzalo's doing a beautiful job of slipping and landing that left hand hard. Yeah, he's doing a good job when he slips as he puts his lead foot outside of yes. his opponent's yes. foot. That's what's setting up that, that straight left. I'd like to see- Oh, whoa. big, big right hand from Balbuena. I think he might have stunned Gonzalez right there. 
you see him not go on 100% defense. Yes, almost. yes. Even if that stunned him, he did the right thing in staying active. Not letting it show to his opponent that much and making sure he stays busy. One of the things that I always look for is if you do get caught with a heavy shot is can you move and get out of the way of more shots? And we saw Gonzalez do a beautiful job with that. And now what we're seeing him is kind of Gonzalez slowing down a little bit and Balbuena really putting the pressure on now. Absolutely. And can you, I like to see fighters that they can keep their cool under them and yeah. come back with a counter. Yeah. Yeah. If you can get out of the way, that's great. But sometimes that shows that maybe you took that hard shot. And uh, sometimes putting that pressure right back on is a great answer. Ooh. And here's some big pressure right now from Babuena as both of these guys are slugging. And look, he, he got his head rocked back and he comes right back into an offensive mode. Good job by uh, Antonio to, to bring it, keep it going. Excellent second round. What a fight. Outstanding. Outstanding by both guys. What a fight. A lot of instruction right now coming from both sides, of course. Very, very passionate corners, very excited guys. But uh, outstanding performance so far in this fight right now. 168 pounds. Third and final round, just about getting ready here. See a little different styles in corners. Yeah, you know, very much so. Each fighter needs to be uh, coached a little different. You see uh, Antonio's quarter a little more fired up. Um, and his opponent, you see his corner really calm. Looks like he's taking in the information really well. And we've seen him make good adjustments in that round. So I think we're going to see him make another adjustment. And uh, he looks a little calmer. You, you bring up an excellent point, and I will tell you right now, is Brian Zeeler is a guy that really is able to connect with his fighters. We've actually seen the, the improvement in Babuela's fighting, and now we're going to see this third and final round, what happens. Very close fight, though, so far. I've got it one round apiece, Sam. Unofficially. Holding and hitting. Both of these guys throwing hard shots right now, trying to land and finish. Big, big combinations, just what Brian Zeeler was talking about in that corner from Lucas Babuena. He's landing beautiful shots on Gonzalez right now. He really is, and he's staying calm with them. I think he's the calmer fighter, paying yes. a little more attention. I like the way that he's gauging range, too. He's just si sitting on the outside of Gonzalez's shots. See it right there. Very good job making him miss and then making him pay for punching at him. And again, the beauty of it is, especially when he's tired, is keeping that chin tucked down, Sam. How important is that to be able, especially as you get tired in a fight? Absolutely. We've seen Antonio back up a couple times with his head up and his head get rocked back. Um, that's a little difference in technique there that Lucas is showing a little more calmness, keeping in his, his safety shell, keeping that chin down. And, one, and, and on the flip side of that, I'm actually seeing a little bit of that chin rising, especially when Gonzalez is throwing exchanges, and that's why we're seeing Lucas Babuena catching him. Yeah, and as the fight goes on, we all have different tendencies as we get tired. You know? Definitely. You know, they say the technique goes out the window when you hit fatigue, but we're not seeing that out of Lucas Babuena right now. But he's definitely, look, uh, Antonio's looking to wear that tiredness. It looks like them shots that he took in the second round are really starting to, oh. And there's that hook again, that exactly what Brian Zeeler was talking about, and he's throwing combinations to follow, and he's really catching Gonzalez with hard shots. What a fight, what a fight. Yeah, I definitely think that uh, Antonio Gonzalez, the accumulation of strikes are really taking a toll on his conditioning and what he has. He's taking some really hard shots, but he's staying in there, keeping after it. Agreed. Wow. I, I, I got to tell that was a hell of a fight right there. Absolutely. Well, I, I tell you what, what was really interesting to me was when Lucas Babuena first started that fight, it looked like he was almost a little bit overwhelmed by the volume that we saw out of Gonzalez, but he was able to really settle down, gauge distance, slip punches, and throw combinations and land combinations, not just one punch. 
That's exactly what I saw. I also saw in between those rounds him making adjustments. I seen his corner staying calm, which helped him stay calm. Yes. I think they passed on the confidence that he needed to, to change and come out a little stronger in that second and third round. Speak to the level of coaching right there out of the Z's gym. Uh, Brian Zeeler known for that ability to connect with fighters just wonderfully in firefights. And we're seeing exactly why these guys are putting out just phenomenal fighters out of both sides of the gyms, by the way. Yeah, and it, it takes a lot for that fighter to have trust in his coach. You've seen that he was very intent on listening to his coach and, and taking in all the information. Exactly. Tell you what, I wouldn't want to be a judge. <laughs> Fantastic fight in boxing here, fifth fight of the night. 168 pound amateurs, Antonio Gonzalez in the black and white trunks and Lucas Babuena in the blue and white trunks unofficially, I will say that always. Uh, I have it two to one for Lucas Babuena. I thought that he was able to make the adjustments, pull through, bring the volume and avoid getting hit. I agree 100%. I really believe that, you know, that second and third round, he was able to take over, land harder shots and uh, take less shots of his own very uh very interesting and fired up and passionate corners like we mentioned both of these guys you could just you could just see the emotions and the intensity out of both sides but uh very very interesting to see kind of how the judges saw this you know both of these guys are uh now that the fight is over, both these guys look to be in really fantastic shape, too. I think that a lot of that, I think I think a lot of times when we see a fighter that maybe is not in the best shape, we see them go down in the fight. We didn't see that. Absolutely. Um, he took some hard shots. Antonio took some hard shots. His head rocked back. And uh, you've seen that you know, he was able to recover and stay after it, keep a pace high. Judge Clare scores about 30-27, and Judge Strashes scores about 25-28. Declare the winner by the decision, Lucas. Outstanding fifth fight. Exactly what the fans came to see. Very well matched. Really, really nice job of overcoming a difficult first round from Lucas Babuena. Was able to make the critical adjustments, and there we saw him pull out the victory.